Guys, saving money only aita kumeku kwe wealthy and that's why the end goal ya kila mtu should be opening other channels za kumeku money. In other words, you create other streams of income, yeah? So, there are three types of assets that ziku available for everyone to invest in and this is what I'm also building personally na pia ntakuwa na update on the progress as we go along. Hopefully, from this video, you will get ideas on what to start building so that you can also start creating wealth. This is not by any chance a get rich quick list uh, but it is something that you need to build bit by bit mdogo mdogo in order for you to achieve financial independence an asset able to define according to robert kiyosaki is something that needs to be putting money in your pocket so the goal is that you make it as passive as possible so you can go along to the extent that it is a run itself without your constant input but some of these ideas are actually going to need your input either initially or through the investment journey so ile unafaa kufanya ni to pick what can work best for you let me know in the comment section below what you would like me to expound on kwa hizo future videos ambazo zenyewe nitakuwa nikufanya but the most important thing ni that we break the poverty cycle. Well, the first type of asset that you can invest in ni physical assets. This is what most of us to make were accustomed to while growing up. Yeah, we're seeing other people doing the same when I invest in assets that you can actually touch, feel, or even see physically yeah, with your eyes. And the examples zina include investing in Vitukama rental properties. You see, these examples mostly ziko very capital intensive. Now, uneza njuliza why am I saying this, but zineza kwa ziko out of reach for so many people, but you can go to the alternative option instead of buying land and buying to build you can approach it ile design ya investing in things like airbnb which you can simply start by renting an apartment ama a house and then unaifurnish very nicely and then una value add hapa na pale and you see a good location na very competitive price eh mazizi takufanya landlord very fast there also some other cost effective options like investing in simple things kama vibanda hizi zinziko along the road na estates yeah, for mama mboga, watu wa maka, and things like that. Not very many people think about such options, by the way. Na hata kama inakulipa 200 bob per day, 1,000 bob, uh, 2,000 per month, hiyo ni pesa ngine mob sana over time, when especially uko naizi to vibanda, I've seen people do this. Something else in yiko too close to history, ya land na stuff, ni farming. With farming, you can either do it kwa land yako, kama uko na land, but kama una land, uneza kwa disha ya wengine where you pay them a fee. Other physical assets zina include things kama investing in transport, yeah? Many people wanna consider these as high risk, especially kama unataka kuinvest kwa kitu kama matatu, cabs, ama tuktuks. But kuna other several people wame invest in vitu wata kama boda boda, na bado wame succeed. So you need to research well, know what you're getting yourself into, cause these zineza kuchapa character development vibaya. You can also buy things kama, eh, for, for services, kama car wash, yeah? Maybe laundry, cause magari na kufuafua nguo, eh, when it comes to laundry especially, eh, we have an endless supply of lazy or busy people eh, who need someone to absorb this very interesting chore to eh. The next type of asset is paper assets. These are basically investments that you cannot touch. I'm always easy on a and they include things like investing in stocks, shares, unit trusts. In both physical and paper assets, you are putting your money to work for you. Only that in physical assets, you are buying something in any tangible. But in paper assets, you are trading it for a piece of paper literally. In the past, you could be given a document, I'm a maybe like proof of investment or a certificate of stocks or shares. And Though things they may change a little bit juicy men are digital most of them don't give you anything apart from your presence online ama your login credentials or a document that you sign maybe at the company that you picked it from but they are still referred to as paper assets most of them are completely hands-free whereby you're not required to like take part actively kwa historia investing for example when you invest in shares you do not necessarily go to run that company ama CG because you bought shares there you have to wake up kwendo kufanya kazi but when it's time for you to get the dividends uh, you will definitely get your dividends and the same applies to things kama money market funds and the rest this is one of the places where you can actually earn true passive 
income. Most of these paper assets are currently returning so much more than other is of physical assets zenye watu wengi tunakimbilia as the first option with much less work lazima underline you remember you can also invest in real estate through the paper asset avenue and that comes in through hii kitu tunaita rates i'll be doing a series by the way on real estate investment trust ama rates and if you want to learn more on this let me know in the comment section below and peer subscribe so that you do not miss any of these uploads zinaenda kukuja back to back the last type of asset that you can invest in is known as digital assets this is one of the areas that has completely redefined the history of investment in our recent times and going to the future we are going to see more and more opportunities in zina arise from these particular areas my challenge to you my friend my follower is that you find a way to be a partaker and not just a spectator ama consumer example of digital assets ni kama gani they include things like building a website and this could be anything like doing a blog or an online tool ama vitu zinaitwa saas which is software as a service you can start a blog whereby una teach people or write about things that you are very knowledgeable eh ama things that you are an expert in this will turn out to be a huge source of revenue believe me both through advertisements and also a place for you to have a community that you can monetize in unlimited ways you can also create an online tool that solves a certain problem and this can simply be something kama building a directory ama whether it is for business ama for places or even kwa place unaweza find some professionals yeah you can also create something that helps people sell things online and most of these things uh, size by the they are not very complicated for example personally i've been building a website that will help people when you're visiting mombasa you will make sure that you can find places that you can have fun where you can eat and where you can drink and there are so many other ways that you can monetize on these particular platforms the ideas are endless and i'll be sharing more in the future videos the other example of digital assets that you can invest in by they include vitu kama youtube ig tiktok accounts yes believe it or not this is imekuwa one of the biggest sources of income for so many and na pia kuna so many different ways that you can uh, you can monetize this so you can actually start your channel about anything as long as it is something that you are an expert at ama you find passion in doing it will take you some time yes consistency and peer dedication a lot of work but when you start seeing the fruits eh you wouldn't regret the much work that you had put into this and the last example for now on the digital assets is in include vitu kama online courses ama ebooks i think these two are zile zenye ziko self explanatory you will understand but i will explain more in another video especially how these two are one of the ways that you can actually create a second income bila pressure The good thing about these uh, these two is that you can actually put in the work once at the initial stages of creating the products but once you have done that and you've set it on the go it will be flowing smoothly and you will be making money 24 hours and 7 days a week okay now out of these three options ama type of assets that you can actually invest in you need to start thinking about where it is that you can get started from don't be all over the place you can start with one and then una focus on it and later on una is a venture into something else let me know if you have any question or feedback in the comment section below but going forward i'll be sharing my personal experience in the areas that i have already invested in so that i may be able to encourage someone and and also share the first hand experience of how the process feels like let me know if that is something that you're interested in hearing about but in the meantime get to work get started right now we have to break this poverty cycle thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in the next video see you at the comment section